what I want to do is walk you through some of the templates in Zoom Whiteboard. Now, the new Zoom Whiteboard is remarkable in so many ways, uh, particularly because of what it provides in the way of these preset templates and the fact that you can use the Zoom Whiteboard to collaborate outside of a Zoom session. That's right. You can use the Zoom whiteboard to collaborate outside of a Zoom session and then open it inside of a Zoom session to debrief that collaboration. This, from a teaching perspective, is a remarkable opportunity. So what I want to do, I've logged into Zoom, my regular Zoom account, zoom.us, and logged in. Once I've logged into Zoom, I'm going to take a look here uh, at Whiteboard. So let me just go back to the main uh, Zoom area so that you can see where that, what it looks like there. Here I'm in the regular Zoom login. I'm going to click on Whiteboard up here at the top. Uh, you can also click on Whiteboards over here in the left. Same thing. So click on Whiteboard, it takes me to this place. And now I'm going to click on all the templates. I'm doing this so that I can show you the various templates. And note that you can use this uh, categories over here to kind of filter them down. But I'm gonna open some of them and kind of talk about them. Okay, this one says Stop, Continue, Retrospective. So what it does is it builds three separate places within a whiteboard and has little stick-it notes there. So if you build this template, if we use this template, it will open up a whiteboard that has these three things and these stick-it notes that those who are collaborating can click on, and they'll also be able to add other stick-its. Uh, they can add other stick-its or they can click on these and fill in that. So uh, as they're collaborating, they may say, well, what should we stop? Uh, and they'll put in here a couple of things. What should we start? What should we continue? And as they build this collaboration, they can see what each other is doing. And then when they come back then and you open it inside the Zoom session, you can then begin to go through and use this as a debriefing experience to talk about how you, what you may want to stop or start or continue. Uh, let's look at another one here. This is meeting notes. Uh, I don't find this one quite as exciting, but some of them it may be exciting for you. And so it's got these areas already built out with things that you can add. Goals, notes, action items, parking lot, discussion topics. Uh, parking lot being those things that you're putting on hold, obviously. Let's go back one more. Um, let's look at seed bracket. You know what a seed bracket is. I won't spend any time there. Uh, root, problem root, solution. And if you're a teacher, you look at this, pick a specific problem from the perspective of the user, identify the root cause, create a solution. You can already begin thinking about ways to use this, which is so exciting. You, I mean, this is like uh, just candy to a candy shop to a teacher to begin thinking about, huh, I bet I could use this to do that. And consumer touch templates again, basic flow charts. Uh, storyboarding, medic, stru medic structure, XY plot, truths and a lie, fun stuff. You can even use this, some of this stuff to do a game. Uh, bullseye, a Venn diagram, business review, product feature roadmap, uh, data design critique. You can build a SWOT analysis here. There are so many really fun things. We've used this from our, my own team, Rose, Bud, and Thorne. Something good which happened recently, something that you're looking forward to, and something that you're worried about. Uh, fun thing to send out to your class maybe ahead of time. So what do you do when you do this? Well, okay, so let's use one. Let's use, um, let's use the Rose, Bud, and Thorne one. All right, I'm going to use the template here. I've opened the template. Here we go. I can change the name. So uh, this is for my class, whatever my class is. PSY uh, 300. I don't know if that's even a number we're using. 
And here it is, rosebud and thorn. It explains what it is right there. Um, I've got it set out here. But if I wanted to, I could change the titles at the top of each of those. So even though right now it says something good which happened recently, I could change the title if I chose to. It's, very, it's completely adaptable to your needs. You can drag over more sticky notes. There we go. Shift in. There we go. You can make them whatever color you want. You can make them whatever size you want. You can move them around if you want. To line up, real easy to do. And if you double click on it, you can begin typing. And you can fill in. Very easy to use. Uh, possible even to um, <laughs> build all kinds of things here off of this uh, as well. So lots of options for you. Now, I've got it set up the way I want to. I built the setup the way I want. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to share it and now I can begin to type in now You have to use this within the domain of your organization in our case uh, Bellhaven University uh, They have to have a student or a staff email. It has to end in bellhaven.edu uh, You can put their name in here and once you do that you can share it with them so once you've shared it with them and what I would do is I would get this ready, maybe uh, my, my uh, class, I've got a scheduled Zoom session with my class on Thursday. Uh, what I'm going to do maybe on the Friday before or the Monday of that week is I'm going to get this ready and I'm going to collaborate. I'm going to send it out to everybody with a note that says, hey, um, maybe I have to put that in the announcement in the course. Hey, I just sent you a collaboration whiteboard. Work on that. Fill in some things, get all your pieces together. You can even add more explanations up here if you want to. Uh, just kind of put in a text box up here and describe what you want to what you want to say to the students here. Hit share, and then when it comes back uh, on when it comes time for your Zoom session on Thursday, when you open your Zoom class, uh, you will be able. And you open your Zoom class down at the bottom. There'll be a little link for a whiteboard. You can click that, and it will open up. And when it does open up, it will give you um, it will give you a list of your whiteboards. And here are the list of the whiteboards that I've used uh, in the past. In fact, here's the rosebud thorn I used last this past July as we worked through some different things. Um, discussion notes, uh, lots lots of fun things here that you can do. And I really encourage you to think about how to use this to collaborate with your students and to build student engagement. Hope you found this to be useful.